on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, guys? This is the Acaso Brave 7. It'll do 4K 30. I guess I paid about $135 for it. GoPro alternative, or a copy of a GoPro. Because the GoPro 4 that I used on my last ride on the e-bike didn't have stability, so I had to use it in the software. It came out okay, but I didn't do an unboxing, but this does come with a lot of stuff. Let's see. Comes with a remote control that I'm charging right now. This is the camera. It has a six axis gyro for the image stabilization. I did test it out already. I did all the settings. It actually seems like it might work okay. You could switch the screen to the front. You want to see myself? I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, it's switching between video and photo. Okay. So, anyways, I'm going to hook this on my helmet and take the old X50 for a rip. And you tell me if the video is any good, if it's worth keeping, or if I should send it back. Comes with a couple bands. This is for the battery charger which it comes with two batteries. They do about 90 minutes a piece. Some sticky strips, cleaning cloth, tethers. That's not a bad idea to have a tether. Mounts that they say will work with GoPro. I did buy the external mic that goes to it. A Caso, and it seemed to work pretty good. The only thing that didn't work good is if you put wind reduction on, it just lowers the volume way down. Two month registration warranty, the manual little tightening wrench, 90 degree mount. It did come in a couple mounts. Flat, this one looks like it has a screw hole if you want to screw it. An extension with an angle, and it looks like oh, a little adapter. You could definitely use that for other stuff, like my 360 camera. So that's it. It does have battery goes in the bottom, charge port, data transfer port, and SD card goes in the side here. It is waterproof. Not a bad looking camera and it actually has some weight to it. So let's get her hooked up and go for a ride. We're going to put it on that helmet and take a little ride on the X50. And I want you guys to tell me if it's better. If it is, I could do a more in-depth review of this. I know, I didn't cut that watermelon up yet. And it did come with a pretty long charging cord. Looks like it might be three feet. It does have a lens cover to protect the lens. That's a good idea. Let's get a little lock when it's in. That doesn't work. Now we'll see if it fits. It says it'll fit GoPro mounts, but I don't think so. Doesn't have that groove. So it doesn't, but this does. It's like an adapter. Huh. does come with a phone app for lining up your image. Hmm, that'll work better if I can get adjusted and then just get that up here. Let's open up the phone app. Hold the up arrow button on the side to get the Wi-Fi to turn on. It might be about right. Try it when we get on the bike. Took this microphone up. 
It is a proprietary microphone. And hopefully there won't be too much wind. Oops. Huh. It's not going to work like that though, is it? It keeps clipping off. That might work better. Put that right there. So when I talk, it'll bounce up into the lid and it'll block the wind somewhat. All right, let's go for a ride. Got a new table, boys. Warm out today. I wonder if I can connect up Wi-Fi. While it's recording. Huh, no. Just gonna do a quick ride. I'll keep this set up down here. Move over, Hopsco. Jan's nose going out. The X50. I hope this camera works out good. You can put it underwater too. Going to shade mode. Tension air cheese out. I wonder where that goes. Yeah, dead end. Private. Oh, that's the quail farm. Riding a bike, you definitely gotta have image stabilization. Just a quick ride, boys. We'll see how it is in low light, or kind of low light. Running out of room here in Chizo's little container. Good job, X50. Oh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going for a ride. This guy, Vonzi, he's got a bunch of cool little like monkey bikes and stuff. He does videos. I'll put the link tomorrow when we go for a ride. I don't know how quick I can get this video up. But yeah, <laughs> taking a bras recon this time. He's gonna show us around. Show us another cool spot in Crystal River. I'm game for that. Yeah, if this microphone sucks or if the image sucks, she's going back. That's the beauty of Amazon. Hopefully I have it adjusted properly. The only thing that's going to stink is if I want to put an external battery, it plugs in where the microphone goes. So I'd have to get some kind of a splitter and then hopefully it still works. It's pretty dark in here, so we'll see what low light looks like. Well, let's see what it looks like. Let's see how fast this USB-C port is. Picasso. USB storage. Oh, nice. Pretty good transfer speed. Getting about 38 megabytes per second. So you don't have to pull the SD card out every time. You could even leave it connected to the helmet. Then I want to see how much battery it used. A Caso X50 test. See it does add a THM file and an LRV file. I don't know exactly what they're for. But we'll get rid of those. I did have other videos on it from testing it earlier. Warm out today. 
Yeah, I can see it's too low. Yeah, definitely too low. Oh, and that wind is bad. I could probably build something in front of that microphone. The video actually looks pretty good. Let's unplug this. Let's see how much battery it's got left. If it used any, hopefully not. I only went out for about 15, 20 minutes. No, nope, still full. All right, let's put a video together and I'll put the video in there and cut out the wind noise as much as I can, but it's picking up the wind with this still. I wish I could tuck it under there. I mean, maybe I can. I need your input, boys. Let me know what I could do with that mic. Then I think it might be okay. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.